should have already solved your bail work. I need somebody to come up here to the board and explain to us how much pizza is left, how much they get, or what the question was asking for us. Um, Noah, come up. Explain how so we can all hear. So Jane has three-fourths of a pizza left, and she wants to share this with her siblings. She has two brothers and one sister. How much of the pizza will each person get? We want to divide what she has left of the pizza. So she wants to divide three points by her herself, two brothers, and one sister. That's four people. Okay, make sure you put four. She had herself, her brother, and a sister, or two sisters. Two brothers, one sister, and herself. Make sure you divide it by the right amount. Okay. You can't leave that because you really can't divide fractions. So you change the multiple, multi you invert and multiply. You switch one and four, four and one. You change the division symbol to multiplication symbol, and you keep three fourths the same. And you multiply. something different. Can we get something different? How do we put that in a sentence, um, Allie? How do we put that in a sentence? What's the final answer? Each person, each person will get three sixteenths of, of the pizza. Very good. All right. Three sixteenths of the pizza. Is that more? Or do you think that's more or less than half of the pizza? Where would three sixteenths fall? More than half or less than half of the pizza? So, Less than half. How do you know that's less than half? What's the other half? Half of 16 is 8 and 3 fourths. Very good. So in today's lesson, what you are doing is we're going to go back and compute quotients of fractions and solve word problems of fraction by fraction. So you're going to have real life scenarios around the room, and you are going to be doing the scale of solving word problems fraction by fraction. Equation has to have what in it, Rodney? Jada. It has to have numbers in it. What else it has to have? Noah? A symbol. An equal sign. So you have to give me something with an equal sign. So a math sentence, that's an equation, to go with this. Okay? Station two. Station two, I'm giving you a recipe. That recipe is for hot cocoa mix. It says this recipe will serve 12 people. 
Well, I don't want this recipe to serve 12 people. I wanted you to cut it down to serve three people. So you are going to have to go through that recipe, figure out how you're going to cut it down to only serve three people and not 12 people. Okay? You're going to rewrite it to serve, to serve three people. On your chart paper, you're going to rewrite that recipe to serve three people. Make sure you show all your work on how you cut that down. Okay? So as a group, discuss how you're going to cut that down, and you're going to put it on your um, chart paper. And this word problem is done wrong. It's not correct. So as a group, you need to read the word problem, figure out what went wrong in this problem. Discuss as your group. Talk about it, come up with an explanation, and then give me the right way to solve this problem. Okay? We have any questions so far on what you're doing? You are going to record all of this on your own chart paper. So you're going to get one chart paper, you're going to divide into three sections. Did you check the way she set the problem up? I'm just questioning. It may be right. 
I'm asking y'all, did y'all check them? Did y'all check to make sure? Oh, I see. She also did it backwards. Because like, they, ha they have five eights, and it takes one for a tap. So what does that mean? It means what do they really want to know? They want to know how many how many loaves of bread can they eat? How many one fourths I can pull out of five eights? So the one I'm trying to pull out of has to go first. And then the one I'm pulling out goes. So then we have to put five divided by one and four. Yeah, so we did that whole thing. Well, then we
actually incorrect because the question was really asking how many five eighths can you wait, how many one fourths can you pull out of five eighths? So the problem was set up incorrectly. It was set up one fourth divided by five eighths. When really it's supposed to be set up five eighths divided by one fourth. Okay, because what always goes first, Kristen? What you're trying to divide. What you're trying to split up. Or what you what that what you have goes second. And that is the one that's missed the most. That type of question. Because we assume First in the problem, first in my problem to solve it. That's not the case. We have to make sure we read. Well, our total, what we have goes first. What I'm trying to pull out goes second. Okay? Good job. All right. All right, so working through your stations. Hopefully, you have gathered up and went back and remembered how to divide fractions. 
And the most important one is that station three in the back is finding her error. Because our biggest problem is with division, we put the wrong number first. If you're going to put the wrong number first, your whole, even though you know how to divide fractions, if the wrong one is first, it's going to throw off your answer. Now, Reese, what was your answer when you put the uh, wrong one first? Two fifths. Two fifths. So I'm asking how many loaves of bread can she make? Loaves is what? Means if it has an S on it, it means what? It's two fifths more than one. Two fifths is not more than one. So did my answer make sense? No. No. So right then and there, I should have known there was another error. Okay. Do we have any other questions about today? Yes. Oh, the correct answer. Good. Thank you. What is the correct answer? Eight and one half loaves of bread. Now, do we technically make a half? So how many loaves can, full loaves of bread can she make? Eight. Eight. Good. All right, any other questions on today's lesson? Yes, Noah. We got something different. What you got? We got, we got two and one half. So, this answer y'all not agreeing with? No. Okay, so we got what? Two and one half. Two and one half. Let me see yours. Five-eighths divided by four it becomes five-eighths times, let's see what they did. Five-eighths times four over one, that's 20 over eight. Did we get 20 over eight? Okay. All right. Oh, gotcha. So eight goes into 20, how many times? Two. That was your error right there, you had to put eight. All right, good job. Any other questions? All right, very good. So we are done for today. What I want you to do is, I want these, so make sure your name's on them. Make sure your name's on all of them.